What's going on everybody, Original151 here, and welcome to episode 8 of my Pokemon Emerald LP. In today's episode, we will be making our way to Slateport City. But before we do that, there's a couple of things we can do now that we have defeated Gym Leader Brawly. And look at that, we're getting a phone call already in today's episode. Who is it? Ahoy! Elliot here! Who the hell is Elliot? I don't know, let's keep reading. As always, I'm fishing with wild abandon. Are there other places I can fish? Than the sea and the rivers? I get these powerful urges to fish just about anywhere. Oh gosh darn it, my line's tangled up. Gotta go! Find me some new fishing spots. Yeah, uh, I hate to break it to you, sir. I will not be finding you any fishing spots. I'm on a quest to be the very best, like no one ever was. And I have no time to help you with your fishing adventures. So, anyway, if you come into this house and talk to this guy, you can get an item. So let's talk to this guy. George, your eyes on this! It's a silk scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion. Yeah! Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're a delight. Here you go. I want you to have it. And beautiful, we obtain the Silk Scarf, and what the Silk Scarf does is allows, uh, you put it on a Pokemon, it's a hold item, and it increases the attacking power of normal type moves. We're gonna keep that in the bag for now, we don't really have an interest in that. So now that we're done here in Doofer Town, we can talk to Mr. Briny again. Ahoy! For you, I'll go out to sea anytime. Now, my friend, where are we bound? Now, we're, we could go right to Slayport, but first I'm gonna go back to Petalburg. Because if we go back to the Devon Corporation, now that we gave the letter to Steven, we can get a uh, very awesome item. We will soon find out what that item is. But for now, let's listen to this kick-ass music again. Ah, just love... Got some, got some water with lemon in it over here. Keep the, keep the vocal cords nice and fresh for my recordings. Alright, thank you, Mr. Briny. So, we'll be back here shortly so we can make our way to Slayport. For now, let's go back to Rustboro City. And the kick-ass music begins. All right, let's spray a repel so we don't run into any wild Pokemon in here. We got plenty of repels, nothing to worry about there. Okay, so let's go back to Rustboro. All right. And shortly we will be in Rustboro. Just gotta keep running. I can't wait till we get our bike. I can't wait till we get fly, to be honest with you guys. Can't wait to fly around. And repels effect wore off. No need to fear, there's no more grass over here. Oh! The rhyming is impeccable today. I'm just killing the game. Killing the game. All right, so we're back in Rustboro City. Let's make our way to the Devon Corporation, which is the top left. Another phone call. This better not be that fisherman. Beep! Oh, hello, Vinny. This is Roxanne of Rustboro City. I heard from Brawly that you're moving up the ranks of trainers at an incredible clip. Yeah, after we got our ass kicked by Brawly three times. <laughs> well, I'd rather not think that I can't beat you. I promise I'll shape up my gym so that you may challenge us again. I hope you'll be looking forward to the occasion as much as me. I'm not, to be completely honest with you. But alright, we registered Gym Leader Roxanne in our Pokenav. Yay! Okay. So let's come in here into the Devon Corporation. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, beautiful. Oh, there's no elevator, so we're gonna have to go up each and every flight of steps. No big deal. I got time. I hope you guys got time. Yeah, I've been uploading like a madman lately. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to start doing not daily uploads, but every other day. So every other day there should be a new episode of this up. I'm gonna try my best to do that for you guys. But anyway, let's come over here and talk to the head of the Devon Corporation, the president, I believe. Mr. Stone, never mind. <laughs> I guess he is the president though of the, of the corporation technically. But anyway, you delivered my letter. Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. It should help you, a trainer. And beautiful, he's gonna give us the experience share. You can put that on your Pokemon, and the Pokemon that's holding the item will split the experience gained in battle by the Pokemon that is battling. I hope I explained that the right way. So we're actually gonna use this, unlike the Silph Scarf, and we're gonna give this to... Let's give this to Bob. And we're gonna take the Miracle, Sweet, Miracle Seed from Bob. So Bob can get some experience even when he's not battling. And you know what? I'm gonna head to a Pokemon Center right now, actually. Take Aeron out of the PC. I completely forgot what we named her. I think we named her Betty. I could be wrong, though. We'll take Betty out of the PC, and we'll put all the other Pokemon that we're not gonna use on our permanent team into the PC. That way we could free up some slots over here. That's what we're gonna do now. Take care of some housekeeping stuff. Let's come into the Pokemon Center. Nurse Joy! How you doing, sweetheart? Alright, we'll come over here to the PC. Okay, and we're gonna boot up... <coughs> Oh, excuse me, guys. We're gonna move Pokemon. 
And we're gonna take out Meryl. Put her over there. Or him. Is that a guy or a girl? Let's check. It is a guy! I'm sorry about that, Meryl. We'll put him over there. And what the hell? Why can't I control this? Alright, let's take Lotad out. Rico, put him over here. Let's take... Oh, I named her Bulma! Why did I think I named her Betty? Alright, well, we'll take Bulma out of the PC. Even better name than I thought. Bulma, hell yeah. And can I teach Bulma any TMs that we have? Let me see what we got here. Uh, Rock Tomb. Uh, ooh, Bulka. You know what? What's what's Bulma's defense and her attack? Let me let me see here. Okay. Wow, so really high attack, really high defense. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna teach Bulma Bulka. That's really gonna that's really gonna help her out. All right, so let's if she can even learn Bulka. I'm pretty sure she can though. And she can't. Wow. All right. Uh. Rock Tomb. Let's see if anyone can learn that. Okay, beautiful Bulma can, so let's teach that to Bulma. Now, what moves does Bulma have right now? Tackle, Harden, Mud Slap, Headbutt. Ooh! She has Headbutt. Nice. Uh, let's swap out Mud Slap with Headbutt. With, uh, Rock Tomb. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was drawing a blank there. Alright, beautiful! So, we took care of that. Now! Now, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can make our way to Slayport City. So, without further ado, let's go back. Ooh. I love the noise it, it makes when you walk through puddles. But anyway, alright, let me stay focused. Let me stay focused. <laughs> Pedalberg Woods. Okay. Hop over all these ledges. I feel like our player is running so fast right now. How does he not get tired? Look at the stamina on this guy just running in circles. What a beast. Alright, let's come back here into Mr. Briny's house. And let's cut him off and let's talk to him. And yes, I want to set sail. Okay. Alright, let's set sail for... I guess we have to go to Duford first. Then once we get off at Duford, we can go to Slayport. There's a little beach area before Slayport where we have to battle a bunch of trainers. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode. I'm very excited about this. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so thirsty today. I don't know what my problem is. Just got to keep on drinking. Stay hydrated. All right. Okay, so we're here back in Duford Town. Let's talk to Mr. Briny again. Okay, and now let's make our way to Slayport. Now we're gonna go east to Slayport. Very awesome. Gonna skip over all these trainers on Route 107. We will be back to fight them eventually. Now we're Route 108. Gonna keep making our way. Route 109! And before you know it, we have arrived. Ahoy! We made land in Slayport. I suppose you're going to visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon goods. I guess I'm gonna. All right, let's come over here and start battling some trainers. Our sandcastle's taking a long time to make. They are not trainers. All right, this guy's a trainer. Beautiful. I've laid anchor in ports around the world, but Slade Port's the best. Well, thank you for sharing that information with me. I could not, could not thank you enough. And this guy's all, he's all flexed up. I'm excited. Sailor Huey, or Huey. And he's got a Wingle. Very nice. Wingle, the flying water type. We're going to send out Goku. And Goku's gonna trace Wingle's keen eye. So let's start things off with the confusion. And damn you, Wangle. Wangle? Wingle. <laughs> Wingle's gonna confuse Goku, which is very frustrating. But Goku hopefully will, of course, hurt itself in confusion. Damn it. I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go over to. Ah, oh, you know what? This thing's flying in water. So Bob really won't have that much of an upper hand against it. I'm just gonna go for the confusion again. Water gun. Okay, I need to heal. Oh, please don't hit yourself. Please don't hit yourself. Thank God, Goku. Come on, Goku. Your special attacks through the roof. All right, let me heal up. I hope I have super potions left. Why did I not heal when I was at the Pokemon Center? That was stupid of me. All right, I have one super potion left. That should get Goku up to full HP. Very nice. And damn it, I didn't even heal up Dave. Rookie mistake. I am a veteran. I can't be making these mistakes. Let's use Confusion. Come on, snap out of Confusion and just kill this thing. Please, Goku, please. 
Beautiful. That's my dude. That's my dude right there. And down goes the Wingle, and that should give us some pretty good experience. Very nice. Dun, 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 dun. And that gives us no experience whatsoever, but Bob grows to level 16, which is cool. And Bob is trying to learn Mega Drain. Let's check that out. Mega Drain. An attack that absorbs half the damage inflicted. Half the damage inflicted. Do I want to learn that? I would have absorbed 20. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, I will definitely swap that out with Absorb. It's just a more powerful version of Absorb. For a second, I was a little confused. I'm like, what does that What does that mean? Half the damage. Oh, voice crack city. <clears throat> Hashtag voice crack. Anyway, yeah. Um, What was I getting at? Anyway, we taught him Mega Drain. I'm proud of that. We're good. We're very good. Let's use a confusion. Let's kill this Machop. One hit KO. Hashtag one hit KO. I'm going to be doing a lot of hashtags lately. Uh, don't know why, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, Goku's going to get experience. Bob's going to get experience. I keep forgetting we put the experience share on Bob. It's going to pay off. Bob's going to get pretty high in level. All right. Look at all these beach chairs. Let's just... Let's just, let's just go on a beach chair. And let's just relax for a second. We have no time to relax. We're on the quest to be the very best. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, battle with me? Of course, of course, of course. I'm gonna battle with everybody, because that's what I do. That's what I do. Got another one of these fluxing guys. Sailor Edmund. Hey, man. He's got another Wingle. I guess everyone on this route has Wingles and Machops. Gonna send out Goku, and Goku's traced the keen eye yet again. Let's use a confusion. Wing attack shouldn't do too much. Goku's got pretty good uh, special defense. And that should be a one-hit KO. Or a two-hit KO. No big deal. Oh, God. All right, Goku. Good for you. you. You survived. That's my boy. That's my boy. Okay, and Goku is not going to get to level 19. But we defeat Sailor Edmund. And that guy just freaked out. Did you see that dialogue? Uh, do I have any more potions? Yes, I got... Oh, I got plenty of potions. All right, let's use a potion. Let's give it to Goku, and let's give one more to Goku. Let's speed this process up. And then let's give one to Dave. Or give two to Dave, for that matter. All right, beautiful. So now, let's grab this Pokeball. And a little girl hiding behind an umbrella. <laughs> Doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? Whoa! Ta-da! See, my inner tube's round. That's some weird dialogue. But, uh, to answer your question, no, they don't look like giant flowers, they look like umbrellas. That's what umbrellas look like. Alright, so here we have these two little kids, and they have a tentacle and an Azuril. They send out Bob and Goku, and that's a pretty good matchup right here. So what I'm gonna do is use the confusion on the tentacle, and we're gonna use a Mega Drain on the Azuril. 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 And that should be a... Oh, come on! We're not quite powerful enough for those one-hit KOs yet, but we will be there eventually. Goku became confused. Bob's gonna use Mega Drain. Let's see how much damage that does. Oh, wow! It's not super effective. I thought it would have been. But that's okay. Bubble. And does that hit both of us? Yes, it does, but... It's gonna do nothing, yeah. Azuril, Azuril really doesn't have, uh... The best... Attacking power, I'll say that. I'll be nice about it. What I'm trying to say is the thing is very frail. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, we're going to take down the Azeril. I keep pronouncing it a different way every time I say its name. <laughs> but hopefully Bob can take out the Tentacool now. Another Azeril. All right. And Tentacool needs a Poison Sting. Hopefully we do not get poisoned. And it's a crit! Damn it. Not okay. Not okay. But the Bullet Seed should do a good amount of damage. Or not. Damn. What typing is Azuril? It's a crit, beautiful. Very nice. I was I thought it was a water type. Maybe maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Come on, come on, one shot this thing. Ah, oh, but it hit that was the first time we got a five-time bullet punch. Uh let's use a confusion on the tentacool and we'll use another bullet seed on the Azuril. Come on, Goku. Come on. That's my boy. I raised you well. I raised you well, Goku. When the hell does Goku evolve? 
Let me know in the comment section below if you know when Goku evolves. Okay. And they still have one po- Oh no, well, this is the last Pokemon we have to kill. Well, these last are- These two are the last we have to kill. And the Azura is gonna die right now, so now we just have to take care of the Tentacool. Okay. And we're all gonna get experience. Beautiful, beautiful. And let's take this thing out. Goku, come on. Do not hit yourself, my friend. And he hits himself. Come on, Goku, come on! Now we're both confused. I hate Tentacools. Using it on my team, I love Tentacools. Like, I think Tentacruel is one of the coolest water types. But when you're facing them, man, they're just so annoying. Alright, that's neutral damage. Can we get another 5 hit? Can we get that? Can we get that? Oh! Hashtag 5 hits! Hell yeah! Let's go! And let's just do the same attack we just did. And beautiful, Goku snaps out of confusion, which means this Tentacool is gonna die. Take care, Tentacool. Nice knowing you, buddy. Nice knowing you, indeed. All right, beautiful. And we're all gonna get experience, and Bob's gonna get to level 17. Very nice. Come on, Bob. When when do you evolve? When, when are Goku and Bob gonna evolve? That would be so badass if we have, like, a double evolution right now, but I don't think they evolve now. Yeah, no, that would have been so cool. No, no, and we took down this little girl's number. I feel like a pedophile. Is that a wild zigzagoon over there? Oh no, he's with this guy. All right, I figured he had an owner. Uh, let's battle her. I'm thirsty. I can go for a soda pop at the seashore house. Well then, go get a freaking soda pop. All right, I'm not your father. I'm not gonna get you a soda pop. It's a boy. Now I feel bad. Sorry about that, Tuber Ricky, Tuber Slick Rick. And he's got a Zigzagoon, but we're going to send out Goku. And Goku's close to level 19. So now let's use a Confusion. It's a crit, and it's a one-hit KO! Hashtag crit, hashtag one-hit KO. <laughs> and Goku's going to get to level 19. Very nice. And Bob's going to get some experience, and we defeat Ricky without a problem at all. Okay, so we took care... No, no! Oh, why are we taking all of these numbers? They're gonna just be calling me non-stop. Okay, uh, who else do we have to battle before we go into the seashore house? That's where you go on to Slateport. So yeah, we just gotta take care of the people in the seashore house, and we're good to go. And I'm guessing you could battle her. Oh, you can't battle her. Alright, so let's come in anyway. Okay, let's battle these trainers. Do you not battle anyone in here? Oh yeah, you gotta talk to them. Boring battles aren't worth the effort! Fiery hot battles are what toughen up trainers and Pokemon! Well, yeah! Yeah! Enthusiasm! Enthusiasm! Let's do it! Let's do it! Who do we got here? Wasn't your hair just green or am I seeing things? She's got a gold Dean. We're gonna send out G G Goku! But we're not gonna keep Goku in for long. We're actually gonna switch out and go over to Bob. So let's do that now. Let's send in Bob. Bob's at level 17. Bob's looking good right now. Okay. And Bob is gonna get hit with a tail whip! Oh no, a tail whip! Everybody down, everybody hide, lock your windows, close your doors. Peck! Oh, it didn't even do that much, all right, good. I forgot that Goldeen's got a horn on his head. I want a horn on my head. I always wanted a tail, like, you know how, like, the Saiyans from Dragon Ball Z have tails? I've always wanted one of the tails. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever wanted a tail. I don't know. <laughs> Mega Drain should take down this Goldeen. And that'll give us Half back of what we caused. Half, you know, all the damage we caused. I saw we, let's say we caused 20 hit points of damage, we get back 10. That's how it works. Beautiful. All right, very nice. And we got some money for that. I think that's how the move works. I'm pretty sure I explained that correctly. <laughs> but anyway, another kid in a tube. I'm gonna show you how great my Pokemon are, but don't cry. <laughs> sweetheart, sweetheart. It's another guy! Why? Ugh. I keep thinking these people in tubes are girls. You're gonna be the one that's crying. Freaking Azrael! I hate these things. I hate these things. Gonna send out Goku. And we're gonna trace the thick bat. Let's use confusion see how much that does. It should do a good amount. This thing has the crappiest, very crappy defense. Bubble! Oh no! I'm scared of bubbles! <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't I just pop the... <laughs> I did one hit point. Why don't we just pop the bubbles? I never understood why bubbles could hurt in Pokemon games. I can understand against a fire type, you know, because 
Fire's weak to water. But, uh... Ooh, Meryl! The evolved form of Azuril. But yeah, like, Bubble Beam, I can understand, because it's like a beam of bubbles. But Bubble is just like a little... And the bubbles hit you. I don't know. Bubble looked menacing in the, uh... What was it? The, uh... The Pokemon Origins, that, like, series of, uh, of video, when, uh, Squirtle hit Charmander with a bubble, that shit looked POWERFUL! It was nuts! But anyway, we're gonna take down this Meryl. Let me speed through this. I just wanna kill this thing already. And beautiful. Now, I'm actually gonna take the experience share off of Bob, now that Bob got up a couple levels, and I'm gonna give it to Bulma. So Bulma could catch up to the rest of the team. So what I'm gonna do is go to my Pokemon party. I'm gonna go over to Bob. I'm gonna take the item. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to my bag. <laughs> my bag. I'm gonna give the miracle seed. Alright, I just got a text if you were wondering what that sound was. <laughs> I keep getting texts during my recordings. I'm gonna give the experience share to Bulma. And we're simply keeping Rick on the party so that we have our HM slave. He has cut. Let's talk to this guy. If you're looking for a battle in the seashore house, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, matey. I guarantee you're not the hottest trainer in here. I guarantee you have a wingle. I'm putting money down on it right now. You have a wingle. Call me, call me Psychic Vinny. Hashtag Psyche Vinny. Psyche Vinny. Hashtag Psychic Vinny. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's wrong with me today. I'm feeling wild and crazy. Water gun! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's a water gun! Oh no! One hit KO! Let's go! We're steamrolling through trainers in this episode. Bulma's gonna get 75 experience points. Next up is a Machop. Gonna stay in. And guys, I am starving. Right after this recording, I'm gonna go upstairs and eat a big ass sandwich. Big sandwich! I'm talking a foot long. I'm freaking excited. Oh, from the local deli. Very excited about this. Hashtag footlong. Hashtag footlong. But yeah, gonna get some experience. Bulma's gonna get some experience. Next up is a tentacool. I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in indeed. I love that cry. Let's use a confusion. And we're almost out of PP. <laughs> hashtag giggity. I don't know why I'm saying hashtag so much. I really don't. I'm gonna start doing that from now on, though. Oh, no! Why did I click growl? And that's a pretty sick uh, ability. You can't get like... Wow, that's awesome. It prevents him from lowering his stats. I might consider getting a tentacle after seeing that ability. That's pretty badass. And come on, don't die, Goku. Don't die. Come on, snap out of it. Just snap out of it. Goku. Goku, come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on! Come on, Goku! Let's go over to... Let's go over to Bob. Alright, and let's use a Mega Drain. Poison Sting, super effective, but shouldn't do that much damage. And it's a crit! Damn it. That crit didn't matter, though. Mega Drain should kill. It might not kill, actually. It did kill. Beautiful. And that should get us to level 18. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yes, beautiful. Level 18. Nice. And Bulma's gonna not get up a level. Pretty surprised there. She got a ton of experience. Okay, we defeat this guy. Alright, let's talk to this gentleman. You're scorching hot. Those battles blazed. I'm more than just satisfied. As thanks for showing me your hot streak, I wanted you to take these. It's half a dozen bottles of soda pop. And beautiful, we obtained the soda pop. And we're going to put those in. Now, I think if you talk to him, you can buy more Soda Pop. I highly recommend buying Soda Pop. It's a very good deal for a very cheap price. So let me just buy, like, three of these. You know, let me keep buying until I get down to 4,000. Just so I have a ton of Soda Pops. That's enough. That's enough Soda Pop. How many did we get exactly? Like, let me let me check. We have 13 Soda Pops. They heal 60 experience points. They're really, they're really a bargain. It's, it's pretty awesome, so I highly recommend you guys do that. All right, guys, here we are in Slateport City. And the music in Slate... Oh, what's going on over here? We will check that out in the next episode. For now, where the hell is the Pokemon Center? Here it is. 
So that pretty much wraps up episode 8, guys. Let me heal up real quick at the Pokemon Center. Nurse Joy, how are you, sweetheart? It's always nice to see you, sweetheart. It's always nice to see you, sweetheart. Hashtag Sweetheart Nurse Joy. Hashtag Nurse Joy, the sweetheart. But anyway, guys, that wraps up episode 8. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. As always, this is Original 151, and I will see you guys next time.